Hey everybody, it's Matthew and I wanted to give you a rundown on the uh, how to create an email address so in the email system. So we're going to go to login.microsoftonline.com and once we're there, we're, you're going to log in. And so my screen, I already logged in so it ran me right to there, otherwise it would ask you to do so. When you're here, you need to go over here to add a user. And in this case we're going to add Allison Grays, first name and last name. And then when you hit tab, it'll enter Allison Graves, and that's the way we want it to stay. That's going to be the display name in the system. Okay. And then the email address is agraves at comalbankrelate.com. Contact information, if you really want to go through and add all that for them, you can. They can go back and do it themselves. It's not necessary for the system. Password, we're going to allow it to auto-generate. It's going to be a user. I'm going to go back here. For password, if you want to create a password for them, you can. It just remember the name convention. Um, it wants uppercase, lowercase, symbols, etc. So I'm going to do capital C B E L I T. Capital C and then B E L I T is all lowercase. 2016. All right. And I'm going to just do that. And the reason I'm doing that, you don't have to, but it makes it a lot easier. Um, to give them that email address the first time, to email them and say, hey, your account's set up, go do this, or to tell them over the phone. And then, notice I've left this box checked that says make the user change their password the first time they log in. So they have that user password when they go to log in, um, it's going to update, uh, it's going to force them to update and create a unique password. And then we're going to go down here to CB Online Plan 1. This is the product license we want to give them, it's the only one we want to give them. So Exchange Online Plan 1, please make sure that's the only one. The rest of these certain product licenses are for other projects, divisions, or things. They're not for the standard agent because they cost money every month. So that's going to be the uh, CB Exchange Online will be the account. And then I'm going to click on Add. Okay, and it's going to add the user. And it will send the email to you or whatever pass, whatever email you want to. So you can also send it to an external email, whatever you type in there, or send it to yourself so you have it. I don't need this sent to me. So I'm going to, and then go down here and edit details for this user. Okay? And so all of this stays the same and make sure it's all there. I'm going to go to mail settings. All right? And it takes just a second as they're preparing the mailbox. So once you've created the core email address, you need to stop there, go do something else, and come back a little bit later. Um, I'm not going to do that, so I just went ahead to the training account, and I'm going to take up from here. So again, once you've created that core address, go do whatever you're going to do, come back later, go to edit user, find the address that you created, because it takes a while to populate in the system. And then we're going to come over here and click on mail settings. It'll look like this. Click on that. And then you're going to see some options. Um, right now, we are going to be um, creating this account, sending the username and password. From time to time, you're going to have a user who um, wants the email address forwarded to a personal account or just for whatever reason, we're going to set up the forwarding. So we'll click on email forwarding. It's pretty simple. Click on uh, on, type in the email address that it's forwarded to. Keep a copy on this uh, email server, which will leave it in the account. Hit save, and when you hit save, It'll now forward anything that's going to that mailbox to uh, training at callbankerly.com or a grave at callbankerly to whatever you put in there. So I really don't want to forward this one, so I'm just going to click on off. Uh, we'll hit cancel and back out. And then I'm going to go to um, more settings, edit exchange properties. And I'm going to go down to email addresses. So this is an important part. All of our agents get both a at callbankerelite.com address as well as an at CBEVA address. Those email addresses go to the same place. It's just these are masks or email addresses that are available to, to so that, send to that user. For those of you who are setting up emails for downtown Fredericksburg, we are keeping their CB Carriage House email address for a period of time. So you will go in and add two addresses here. I'm going to go to click on the plus sign here. So I'm going to go ahead and type out the email address. So remember, uh, this was training. 
So whatever you had, so for example, if it's a graves or training, so it's going to be whatever it was for the at call banker elite address, it's going to be the same thing for at CBE, the edit com address. And I'm going to hit OK. And now anything that is sent to training at callbankerly.com or training at cbeva.com will go in here. And again, for um, for downtown Fredericksburg, um, you're going to add the at CB carriage house email address just as it is on the roster currently. All right. So that's going to be an adding the email addresses. And we want these different email addresses, these exchanges for the agent. This is going to be the default. This is always there, but we don't ever give that one out. We simply give out the long version or short version and then we're going to hit save okay and once you've done that you're done with the email setup now we're going to go add them to groups so we're going to go to groups and we add them to the various groups or the one for their office or in this case i'm going to go look for company because everyone gets added to company do a search for that i find the company email address okay I'm going to go to edit where it shows members. I'm going to go to add members. I'm going to search for the address I just set up, or in this case, the member was Allison. So I'm going to click on there and then save. All right, so I've added her to the distribution list of company. Now we're going to go to look for Fredericksburg. That's what I'm looking for. So I'm going to go to FXBG for Fredericksburg. I'm going to go to edit members, add member, Allison. Okay, and then she'll pop up. We'll click the little tab there, click on save, and now you can see that she has been added to this list of agents for that distribution group. Um, and so you'll have a list of the groups you have to go to its company. Um, listings and the office at a minimum. So that's the groups that they'll go to. And now anybody who sends an email to fxpg at cbeva will go out to everybody in that group. All right. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Uh, I'll be happy to walk you through it. Um, as you can see, it takes a little bit of practice, but once you've done a few of them, you'll be just fine. Again, if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks. Bye.